It's the speech he didn't want to give. My friends, we have, we have come to the end of a long journey. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken clearly. A little while ago, I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him. Please. To congratulate him on being elected the next president of the country that we both love. Republican Senator John McCain and Governor Sarah Palin conceded defeat in their bid for the White House. The self-proclaimed maverick from Arizona faced the cameras in Phoenix and tried to console his supporters. It is natural. It's natural tonight to feel some disappointment. But tomorrow, we must move beyond it and work together to get our country moving again. We fought, we fought as hard as we could. And though we fell short, the failure is mine, not yours. And despite the final tally, it's a message that was well received here. Disappointed that he didn't win. I thought he did a very good job. Personally, I thought he was the best one for the job, at least as far as being the president goes. As he asked us to do, we will have to accept Obama, Mr. Obama as our new president. And um, who knows what the future holds for America? It'll be interesting four years. For McCain, who staged a strong comeback to win his party's nomination, this last hill was just too steep to climb. Bogged down by a severely unpopular Republican president and an economy that tanked with just weeks left in the race, the 72-year-old in the end couldn't convince a weary electorate. The public mood is sour. People think the country is going in the wrong direction. They think the economy is fair or poor. They're scared of losing their house. They're scared of losing their job. They're scared of losing the money they invested for their pensions. And so change is the most important element in this campaign. If there is a silver lining for Republicans, many say it may lie with the woman McCain shared the ticket with. This is absolutely a springboard for Sarah Palin because the subtext of tonight's election is that the Republicans are also going to suffer some pretty big losses in the House and in the Senate. That means their, their bench, the, those who could be available for 2012, is very thin. Sarah Palin has been a superstar with the Republican base vote, and it's the Republican base vote that nominates presidents. So Sarah Palin is here to stay. What happens next for McCain isn't clear. He has two more years in his current term in the U.S. Senate. He's not announced whether he'll seek another term. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Phoenix.